everybody middle of the night perfect time for a review this is the disney pixar buzz lightyear xl 15 spaceship okay it's big and this is a ruler one foot it's about 20 inches long i don't have my tape measure handy else i would break it out <laughs> but this thing is cool first here's why i like it i don't really go for disney stuff typically i don't go for disney stuff unless it's something interesting and this is something interesting because this is looks like the disney take of the z95 headhunter my absolutely favorite ship in the entire star wars universe fight me <laughs> it's I have my reasons I will talk about them in comments if you ask but I'm just going to do a review no box review it's in there's a piece here that had to go on the engines had to be put on and the wing tips had to be stuck on they all click together great okay now this was expensive it's more than I like to pay normally but it looks just like a Z95 headhunter from the books not the shows the books okay now it's comes with a five inch scale figure let me see i don't even have him handy so not going to review the figure this is ship only okay now this has a gimmick the way it's supposed to be is um okay i'm gonna be a little bit in frame here <laughs> Now, the pilot, your Buzz Lightyear lays down in here, and he has one of the doll hanger things, and foot pegs. Well, you pull this. This is a lever you pull backwards, okay? And it, and what's supposed to happen is, with his feet pegged in here, he stands up, and he's standing straight up. That's goofy. I don't like it. <laughs> And um, you see the thing splits apart like that, the hole right there. So you just, you pull this lever and it pulls all the way out like that. Push it back down. It goes back in. With a figure in there, it's harder to get to work. And this clicks down like that, but it's, it clicks onto a moving part. So you do have a little bit of plastic that's taller right there. Hopefully you can see for this thing to hook onto and this button. Now you can, right? This is a little trigger thing here. And it's, okay, it wanted to work this time. It's been, it likes to argue. Okay, you've got firing missiles. This is a button for this missile. And... Pew, right and it sticks into the wing like so like so up and down long ways and you hear a, a nice big click i will give them that clicks nicely there's that no electronics on this okay hopefully you can see without too much fuzz the engines are nice and big and bulky looking i like this <clears throat> And also you got missile storage in the wingtips. It just kind of clicks into place. I think there's some plastic in there. It just clicks in. And, okay, the landing gear. This could have been done so much better with rolling wheels. But this is just a solid chunk of plastic. See? It's just molded plastic. They fold up. But they do fold kind of flush. That's nice. Same thing with here. They do fold kind of flush. And these mount points were for packing, right? However, if you want to put this on a stand, you can use these mount points as stand points. And you can just have pegs going up in there with, I don't know what they call them, uh, washer mounts. Oh, this is cool. Look, screw showing through on a multi-part that is totally <laughs> droid build quality right there 
but for the close to $50 this thing costs in the store, all right, $46 plus tax or VAT, whatever, wherever you are. Um, I wanted wheels that roll, okay? The stuff, though I can appreciate it, not a lot of people would. That should be covered for 60 bucks. Okay, now, what I intend to do with it. Okay, I do not do the 5-inch lines. I do 3 and 375s, right? Well, let me grab a 375 and show you what's up. In my estimation. Okay. Let me just grab one. I got another toy review coming in a minute. Show me a Lucy. Oh yeah, noisy. Okay. I'm almost there. Almost there. Okay. Now, Ruck, Final Faction, and Generic Pilot from Family Dollar, okay? Okay, these are 375s, same as G.I. Joe's, same as Star Wars that we all know and love. They don't fit in here. However, there is enough room. If I mod, if I mod for in here, this is how they fit normally. I do not like that. Okay. Now, there's a lot of room in here. It's hollow all the way to about where the button is. Right here, it's, it's just hollow. And it has molding and whatever. And it has this thing where the buzz figure, you know, pegs in. Well, also, you got under the dashboard i know you probably can't see that but under the dashboard is hollow also there are a couple of sp screw pegs there but i can work around those there's enough room with as much hollowness in there for two action figures to fit in there like that and it becomes a two-seater starfighter i like that okay now, regular, see, it's janky. <laughs> that shouldn't happen on a nearly $60, $50 toy, okay? Now, the details on this are pretty good. The paint is good. The uh, casting is good. There was no flash or, uh, it's good quality, okay? But this is straight up a Z95 Headhunter. I swear to the force. I swear to cow, this is a Z95 Headhunter. It was, thank you, it was pulled straight from the books. There were several different ones. Um, in the X-Wing series, back in the day, there was a swept forward version with two engines. And the wings canted downward like that. And, yeah, y'all, that's a snub. Snub fighter straight up. And when I'm done with it, it's going to be a two-seater tandem. And this is cool. I really like this ship. Did not like the price. But the quality is there, except for that little rig job right here. I didn't like that. Um, okay, little details. Any questions? I don't know what else to say about it. It's big. It's really big. It's very cool. I really like it and you saw how he how they compare to 375s okay now the next thing I wanted to cover let me get these out of the way I've got these fairly handy like right here a long time ago I bought this right this is an astromech in a Dollar Tree, not Dollar Tree, but Family Dollar, little tank, and it's been used for firecrackers. And the guy said, why throw it away? Why not use it? This comes from something else. He painted it. He did a real good job. He had 
told me he had a bunch of these Astromex, and he just pop one in there and boom, tank. Okay. Now, I've shown that one before, maybe on Instagram or something. And then the other day, Dollar Tree sells these little tanks. I like the P131. Okay, so he gets a tank body, and he happens to be about the same size as that. Somebody in the group set, uh, showed the stock form of this in the boxes. I'll be reviewing it. And I'm like, okay, cool. I ran across my own that I had picked up. So I wanted this. I built this. Well, I made the adapter. First run didn't error out, which is always good, right? However, there needed some tweaking. I've already done the tweaking. I just haven't done the another make of it. Got plenty of these tanks and got plenty of these P131s. See, he's loose. I made some pegs to go right here. And in the final make, I made uh, a peg that goes all the way through. And that's fine. It's fine. 6.5 mil going all the way through. Um, I just was... For this one, I was going for hidden joint, but it's more trouble than it's worth. So, it's two pieces with pegs held together. And the peg that goes into his hip right here is part of this. But that's too much trouble than it's worth. Okay, so just one snap it together, put him in there, slide the peg through, and boom. And it will be a lot more stiff than that but not bad for a first run not bad at all and he turns yeah it turns out the top part of this only clicks in you have to really wrangle it out but it will come right out and he turns very happy i did not paint i just this 30 minutes from design to this to print it, it's 30 minutes. And this is from Dollar Tree, Alpha Team or something, or Alpha Force, something, something very generic from, not Dollar Tree, Family Dollar. And it has this, like, thing on top where a pilot sits, and the seat that came out of it, it's good. The seat is good. It might go into a an Aero ATV, but okay. I just want to show off all of this. Let me get a nice little screenshot. No, not yet. <laughs> I want to show the XL15. I like it. Pretty much uh, opinion-based. Is it worth the nearly $50? Up to you. I like it. And some customs. That's it. Out of here. Bye-bye.